Hey, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we are at Screen Australia and Australians in Film Oscar nominees reception. Congratulations on the nomination. It's good. It's um, it's a it's a nice honor. I, yes, it's always a nice honor, and but I think it's you know it's it's been a great it's great to see Mel Gibson back in Hollywood, yeah. mm -hmm. and I think that's been really important just to say you know he's here and he's still out there producing quality film. Look at it. Mel is an elite director. He's one of the best working in the world. He should be should have been working for a lot longer, and and. You know, he's back on his path, but it's, you know, and I think he would second it. It's really the most important thing is the message of the movie, and, and he did a phenomenal job, as did Andrew, as did all of our great cast and our great crew. So it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's good. A good movie does a lot of good for a lot of people. It certainly does, and I think I, the, the topic of the film, the, the fact that it's a true story, just with everything that's going on in the world, it raises yeah. a lot of great, wonderful debate questions. Yeah. You, that's what I mean. I'd rather the, the, that was the that that was a topic of conversation from the movie as opposed to you know is Mel back or not Mel back yeah. that's you know that shouldn't it that should never have happened so and the and the topic of the move topics of the movie bullying um, you know no matter how just your cause is killing is always wrong you know with the world so falling seeming to fall, seemingly falling apart including this country um, you know it's it, that is something that you really would love people to embrace more, talk about, and maybe make a dent in all that stuff. You no, know, it's true, and it's one of those things, too. I think also being true to who you are and true to your beliefs, I think, are very, very important, and we have been challenging that when people don't agree with us lately. Right. No, and he's also a guy who goes against all the grains. He doesn't. He follows his own views, and he isn't apologetic about it, and he also isn't asking for forgiveness. And I think that that's refreshing, too, because we always think that you're supposed to get out there and just ask for forgiveness all the yes, time. Yes, and be different and conform, and he doesn't, he doesn't do any of those things. He was actually even, if you think in 1945, he's even more unusual than he would be today. He's really stepping outside the box on something like that. Um, I love that this is a global film. I mean, you've, you've got cast members from all over the world. Obviously. Mostly here. Mostly not here. Mostly here meaning Australia. Yes, exactly, since we're talking Australians in film. But, you know, what is it um, about Australian film that, that really makes it so special and unique and a little bit different from here in the States? Well, I think, you know, it's 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 more of a, it's still more of a privilege there. And I think people here, because it's such a part of the fabric of, especially of L.A., even though no movie's made in L.A., um, that people think that it's, you know, that it's, it's just part of, they're entitled to it. And I thought, you know, you get a, you can, if you're making a movie like this, we got, I think we particularly got a deeper sense of commitment from our crews and cast and, you know, everybody came with their A game and weren't cynical about it. And, and I think it shows in the movie. And it also shows in an Oscar nomination. So no, congratulations on that. Okay. So nice Thank to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who your favorite Australian actor is. Mine's Hugh Jackman.